The Sound of Music is about a young girl who's trying to find her place in the world, and I think that's a universal story. I think everybody can relate to that. Maria is a little bit of a tomboy. She starts as a postulant in the Abbey, and she gets sent away to be the governess of a family of seven children. And through that journey, she learns a lot about herself, and she ends up falling in love with the captain. I was raised in Vermont, about 45 minutes from where the Trapp family settled in Stowe, Vermont. So I grew up in the same hills that they settled in. We used to visit the Trapp family lodge all the time. We'd see concerts on the green, and we'd play in the fields, and we'd visit the bakery. We had so much fun. My first experience with The Sound of Music was on a two VHS set. Our family all sat around and watched it all the time. When I found out that I got the role of Maria in The Sound of Music, I was so excited. Doe, a deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun. Being in a rehearsal with Jack O'Brien is an actor's dream. He tells so many wonderful stories and he's so personal and so articulate that you understand what he's trying to do with the story and he helps you figure out how you can tell that story and he brings out so many new things within the piece which is fascinating to watch since it is such a beloved story. Danny Mefford's choreography is so helpful in telling that story and Andy does beautiful things with the music and his orchestrations that he's been adding are just flawless, they're gorgeous. Jane Greenwood's costumes and Natasha's lighting, what an incredible team. Everything has come together to create a beautiful, beautiful production. It's a complete dream come true.